Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I am here to do your January 2018 monthly reading. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate, okay? It's for hundreds and thousands of people. Um, so take what resonates and just leave the rest, all right? Those three cards had fallen out of the deck because I pre-shuffle before I turn on the camera. So I am just going to leave them while I shuffle. This is for Virgo, January 2018. Happy New Year. If you want to know more about me, you can watch one of my Let's Talk videos or join my group. Alright, we're going to go with this. These flew out of the deck. I will focus this camera in when I am done laying out the cards. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this reading should not be on anybody else's channel. Whoa, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm going to leave it alone. All right, the basis of the reading is the Four of Pentacles reversed, okay? So I think you guys are are letting go. You're letting go of something. No longer holding on, okay? You're not holding on. You're letting go. And you may even feel like celebrating. You may start be starting to feel free, okay? Perhaps, you know, you've made, you've really worked on doing something. You did what you needed to do. You acted on your hunches. You moved forward. Perhaps you did something that you were scared to do. And this month, it looks like it's paying off. I see that you could be receiving a new security, a new stability. Could be a gift of money, even, or a pay increase. It feels like you could be definitely be receiving some money from somewhere. You know, an increase in money this month. Um, it feels as though you guys have some... Uh, A reason to celebrate it looks like a reason to celebrate new love could be coming in you could have an offer of love from somebody um, that makes you feel very good makes you feel happy like on cloud nine okay yeah I think you guys have been through a completion of some sort of uh, something that you know where you were feeling defeated you were feeling down depressed sad and I think that's over now Okay, I think you guys persevered, and now the time has come for you to get your reward, okay? It looks like you have worked hard on something, and you followed your intuition, you acted on your hunches, you listened to your inner guide, you made a decision, and now you feel free. It looks like this is a month of personal freedom, you know? You're feeling very, very good. Um, there, it feels like you're just working on your healing. You're bringing balance back to your life. You you didn't quit, and so now things are starting to happen for you. Things are slowly moving in the direction that you had hoped. Um, I feel like you're no longer crying over the loss or moping over the past. It's like I'm moving forward. Things look good. I see definitely security and stability and perhaps even... You know a payoff in sight okay it feels like you guys um, I'm just thinking for a minute it looks like there's a lack of uh, focus though somewhere there's a lack of focus where you know, you're just you're not focusing on your career as much as you you should. Maybe you're focusing on love instead. You know, you could be your career could be um, not at the forefront of this month. Okay, perhaps you're thinking about something else and you're not even worried about it. It feels like um, you're just going with the flow. You're feeling very happy. You're at ease. You're not really worried about your job. You're not really focusing on it. It's not your top priority. 
Um, you're not making it a top priority. You're focused more on love this month, more on emotional support, either offering it or getting it or whatever. It just feels like the job is at is in, is in the background. Your career is in the background. It looks like there's really no not a lot of effort being put into your job. It's like you know I don't even care about this. There's lack of care for the for the workforce. <laughs> That's what I see. I think that you're looking for something more. You're looking for more excitement in your life right now. And, you know, perhaps you decided, you know, you're going to go out and find some. It looks like you're looking for more excitement and it's coming in your direction. It's headed that way. I think you're re you, you could be receiving a message that excites you in a very big way. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm smiling. I'm sitting here smiling because it feels like, something you've been waiting for you know you've been waiting you may have been feeling isolated feeling like you were never going to get what what is coming for you you know and you may have been like feeling withdrawn um out of balance like restrained okay you may have been feeling restrained like you couldn't move forward on your path. And I feel like this month you're able to finally move forward in the direction that you desire. And I feel that is the case because you're following your inner guide. You're listening to your inner guide. Um, you're realizing that it's okay. That it's okay to let go. Because I see, I mean, with the Ten of Swords right next to that Four of Pentacles and the Temperance card, that whole lineup right there tells me that you're letting go of something that, you know, you were scared to let go of. And when you do let go of it, it brings in this new excitement, finally. It's something you have been waiting for. And you were procrastinating in the past, but I think that time of procrastination is over you know, I do. I, I really feel like that's over and that your reward is here. I think you're going to be getting a new security and a new stability. In regards to a relationship, a love relationship, it feels like one relationship is ending. And I don't know who this is for, but it feels like one love connection is ending and um, now you are free. If you, I see personal freedom here. Somebody is going to be free, okay? They're just shedding the old. It's like, I'm ready to shed the old. Many of you have just been sitting behind the scenes, waiting for the waiting for something to happen, waiting for the right moment, you know, just waiting for everything to crash. And I think this month, the right moment has come. All right, it has. Uh, I see excitement coming up for you. I see good news related to a new relationship. I see an offer of love, perhaps. I feel like um, you are being tested or you were being tested and that your patience has paid off, okay? This is for January 2018. I feel like your beauty is going to be through the roof. And now this is for a man or a woman. I see personal freedom here. I see somebody is going to be feeling on top of the world. I see personal freedom. I see self-confidence, strength, beauty. Um, starting over, start going down a new road, letting go of the past, letting go of feeling stuck, letting go of the intense feelings that you were feeling. It, I just see uh, uh, I just, freedom is the main word for this month. I see personal freedom we, and when that happens your vibration like goes right through the roof okay and you're going to feel very secure and stable all right I see secure stable I see uh, 
practical, responsible, um, abundance, okay? I think this is a, a month of abundance in many arenas, arenas of your life, and that is because you are feeling free. You're feeling at ease. You know, you've accepted the truth of a situation. You've probably spoken your truth, okay? You really have. It looks like you have spoken your truth. You're letting something go, and it is bringing you about this peace that you haven't had in a long time. And I feel like for many of you, you're taking a risk. You decided you it took a you had to take a risk, okay? And you're you're still taking a risk. You're jumping into the unknown, or you're stepping into the unknown with faith. I think many of you are bringing some balance back to your life um, in regards to what you feel you need. You're bringing your feelings, your hopes, your desires into. Um, into play okay you are you're 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 really taking care of you this month and I feel like you know you're nurturing yourself you're mothering yourself you're being very practical and I feel like you know there's a lot of stability this month there is I feel like you're going to be feeling very stable um but, you know, there may be a little bit of hurt. You may feel guilty for hurting somebody else. There could be a little guilt here this month. But you feel free, okay? You had to let something go. There was something that had to be gone, that had to go, that hurt to let go. But the thing is, that door needed to close. This is a door closing. That needed to close because it wasn't serving you. It wasn't serving your heart. It wasn't doing no good for your heart. Okay, so it took strength, it took confidence and willpower and determination to do what you needed to do for you. You really had to master your emotions to bring your security back, you know, to make yourself feel secure again. All right, and I feel like there's no more crying over the past, no more worrying about the reactions of others. I feel like the truth has come out. A secret has become known. And now the weight has been lifted. And you're feeling pretty darn free. And you feel like celebrating. I feel many of you are starting a brand new journey. And you're heading in a direction that you don't have any expertise in. You're taking a leap of faith. And it's not the most practical route. Even though we have practical and responsible down here, here the page of pentacles is reversed. So I think that you guys are taking a leap of faith against the odds. Okay? You're, you're not worried about it. It feels like you are doing the right thing for you. You may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo. We have Gemini here. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we also have Pisces. I'm just looking to see who else we have. I said Pisces already, didn't I? I said Sagittarius. Okay, I think I got them all. I don't really like to say that Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. So I don't really like to say the signs because it really could be any sign. But I feel for many of you, this is a month of personal freedom where you actually let go of something. Something that you were clinging on to. You were holding on to it, but you finally realized that it doesn't serve you. And, and even though it hurts, you're letting it go. You're letting... You're letting it go because it's time to do the right thing for you. Okay? That's all there is to it. You have to let it go. And that takes strength, courage, confidence, wisdom, discipline. You know? And the ability to love oneself more than anything else. Okay? I feel like we have the truth here. I think the truth has come out. The truth probably hurt. You, you're able to let go because the truth comes out and then you start to feel free. And then you start to glow. You start to shine. I think this is a month of personal freedom. Okay? And the new journey begins. I can't wait to see what February says. So January is about bringing about your personal freedom. 
which will in the end make you feel very secure and stable. I see a lot of secure and, and stable here. And this is not in the workforce, okay? This is not money-wise. Secure and stable emotionally, okay? What happened is, is you you were going through a lack of passion. We have a lack of passion with that magician card. That was in the past. The passion was dying where you were at. You were no longer interested with this King of Wands. You were no longer interested. And you just couldn't hold in the truth another minute. So the truth comes out. Action is taken. You become free. And your vibration raises. And you start a new journey. You feel like celebrating. And for many of you, new love could come in. I think that new love is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. And I feel like, you know, there's some hurt. There's definitely some hurt with this letting go. But it serves your best purpose. Okay? It serves you best. You know it does. You've persevered, you've tried everything, it isn't working, it's time to go. And I think this month, you're actually letting go. Oh my gosh. Wow, I love these cards, I really do. There's something else. They really are. I'm going to make sure I do it in front of the screen because the way they come out so perfectly, it's like, wow. Ooh, perfect. Those are your cards. I'm going to turn them a little bit because I want you to be able to see them better. I know that's not much better, but better than it was. Okay, let your past go. Let your past go. That's the basis of your reading. That's what's going on here. And when you do that, your freedom, your personal freedom is going to go whoo, right through the roof. You are going to feel like, uh, like you're walking on water. Let your past go. The burden of, the burden of carting your past around has made you weary. This card right here. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons in love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and it's now gone. And that is what's going on this January 2018. The new year comes, and you think, it's a new year. It's a new me, and it's time to speak my truth. And you do it. And when you do it, the burden gets lifted. The next card. Go forward fearlessly. This is from Archangel Michael. My prayer. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way. For holding my hand. Giving me confidence and courage. And guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love. And my true life's purpose. <laughs> oh boy this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this should not be on anybody else's channel this is absolutely a reading for you Virgo I believe that you are letting go of something that no longer serves you and you are going to be on cloud 9 after you do it let go of your past and move forward fearlessly it's amazing. It really is. I mean, this is what it is. So, January looks like it's a month of personal freedom. Happy New Year and congratulations.